Hi there, Joey from dayjobhacks.com. Today, let's talk about how to launch CPA affiliate campaigns quickly, the steps involved and how to get set up, and exactly how to choose the best offers to start testing immediately. So I recently did a survey and sent it out to all of my subscribers asking their biggest questions. What is the biggest challenge you have? And I was amazed to see that many people, their biggest problem is trying to find out where to start, what offer to run, what is actually working out there and how to choose the best offers. So I figured I would do a quick hit video showing you the exact steps I take to choose offers and when I start testing what I consider before I even start setting up my landing pages and all that stuff. So here I am inside Max Bounty. I'm going to show you inside Max Bounty which is a CPA affiliate network. I don't really run traffic on Max Bounty but I know a lot of my viewers are interested in Max Bounty because it's one of those popular networks that's kind of mainstream okay. So the first step that really needs to happen here is you really need to know what traffic source you are going to be using for your campaign okay. I can go ahead and just tell you that the best traffic sources for affiliates, in my opinion, are Facebook, Google, Snap Ads, Pinterest, um, Bing Ads. Those are the big mainstream ones that you're going to get really high quality traffic, okay? However, they have lots of rules in place that you need to follow. Let's just assume we're going to say Facebook, okay? I want to run Facebook ads because really, to make tons of money online, you need a traffic source where you can spend thousands and thousands of dollars every single day. Facebook is one of those places. Google is. So let's just consider the fact that we want to make tons of money. So we want to run on Facebook or Google or something like that. So let's assume, let's say we're going with Facebook. That means we need offers that will run on Facebook, not only does the network allow it, but we want also Facebook to be happy, okay? So that really starts to limit our options. Okay, so coming in next, now let's assume we want to run Facebook. We're gonna look at campaigns. We're gonna click search campaigns. Now I've kind of blurred out the, the account manager here just because I don't think he would want me to show his personal contact info because people would probably actually start hitting him up asking for an account, so that's why it's blurred out there. Um, so as you can see here, there's just a ton of offers. This is the first page. There are 38 pages here of several offers. So we're talking like hundreds of offers to choose from. How do you actually go ahead and start picking an offer, right? There's so many different things to consider. I have spent all day on one network just getting a piece of paper, a pen, and writing down maybe 10 to 20 offers I want to test, okay? Um, and, and that could take a full day of work because you want to go through, you want to find the offer that is allowed on Facebook. You want to also do some research on each offer. You want to look at certain metrics and you also want to make sure that it's converting, it's tracking, and you want to contact your affiliate manager, ask them if it's converting. So really there's a lot of work to do just picking a list of offers that you want to start testing. So let's say you want to pick 20 offers, okay? Now, whether or not you're in a specific niche or not matters. And there's three main niches I focus on as an affiliate, and they're, they're the biggest ones, which is wealth, health, and relationships, okay? Those are the biggest niches. It's where you're gonna be able to spend thousands of dollars a day. You're going to be able to get thousands of conversions a day if you focus on those three big major topics okay so people want to make money they want to they want to improve their own personal finances they want to buy things they want to whatever it is finance is massive they want to increase their retirement income whatever it is all of those types of offers can convert like mad especially on facebook and google and big traffic platforms health is another is another real obvious one diet everybody wants to lose weight everyone wants to be healthy reduce blood pressure um you know look good all of those things are things that people are buying it's, and beauty kind of falls into that as well you know skin care skin creams everything like that makeup kind of falls into the health and beauty topic Next, we're talking, you know, relationships. Dating is a big, massive one where you can make a lot of money and you can spend thousands and thousands of dollars every single day on the dating niche, okay? Then you start to fall into other offers which are kind of not mainstream but still have the opportunity to make you a lot of money because many, many affiliates aren't focusing on them. So you need to consider that when you're coming through here. As you'll see, most of them do fall into the health, wealth, 
and relationship topic, but here's an example here, movie streaming. That one doesn't fall into any of those. It's an entertainment type of offer, and that is also big, especially now when the world is kind of stuck at home doing whatever they're doing because they're in isolation. Movie streaming is one of those offers that could be a potential winner right now. The next things you need to look at are obviously the earnings per click. The EPC means every time the network gets a click to the offer, on average, they're paying out roughly, you know, here 36 cents per click to affiliates. Now these numbers here for EPC are not very accurate on the network level. Let's just be clear here. The, the, the 36 cents here could be one affiliate running inbox pounds and he maybe one affiliate's getting like a four uh, or whatever, what is it, $2 per lead. So let's say one, one affiliate's getting a 30% conversion rate. So he's getting roughly 70 cents earnings per click while another affiliate is running a much you know, less quality traffic, maybe getting 18 cents. Another one might be running at a two cent um, earnings per click. So you really can't really gauge. But what you can see here is it is converting on the network. You just don't know which affiliates are getting what EPC. So if you keep that in mind when you're choosing EPC. While it is a metric that we do look at and consider, um, most of the time you can't just rely on it. You have to test it yourself. You have to see what your EPC will be with your traffic source, with your landing page, and how you set up your campaign. At the same time, you can't rely on the payout per lead either because if this offer here that pays Let's say there's two offers here, okay? One of them is $12, they're both $12 a lead. Maybe this one converts uh, twice as well as this one, then obviously this one is going to be the better offer even though it's paying out the exact same, okay? So you need to factor that into when you're choosing your offers. Other things you're going to look at when you start searching for campaigns here is you can do search options and now you can start looking at your traffic type. So remember, we wanted to pick our traffic type first. In this case, if we wanted to start filtering, we could just turn off everything except for social because we're going with Facebook in this case. So we're gonna turn off everything and then we're going to hit search. And now it's going to show us all the offers that will accept social media traffic. This means we would be allowed to run Facebook ads to these types of offers. Next, if we wanna choose a vertical, Vertical means category, basically. Um, so we can go here and we can choose. Let's just say we want to do um, health, okay? I wouldn't recommend health right now on social media, Facebook, just to be honest. Um, anything related to diet, Nutra, weight loss is, going, is probably going to result in you getting flagged. Um, what I would recommend at this point in time is looking at e-commerce, okay? E-commerce, another major, one of those big, um, topics that I didn't mention is is really picking up right now especially around the world because people are buying things online e-commerce is basically just selling physical products online okay it's the it's probably one of the biggest and most trendy topics right now in the industry for affiliates is selling e-com because you will not get flagged most of the time okay so looking at these types of offers you can see we have just examples here a charcoal air purifying bag. These are all physical products of a blood pressure wrist monitor. So that would work. All of these and worldwide versus, you know, US, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, stuff like that. These are the countries that we're allowed to run in. I'm going to talk about that here shortly. So let's say we now we have a list of offers. We can sort by the earnings per click so we can see which offer on this network is getting the highest earnings per click, which we have here. It's the L Vet Pet CBD, okay? So CBD is actually one of those products that is approved on Max Bounty for social media. However, if you were to try and run this on Facebook, you would be banned immediately, okay? Um, anything related to CBD is probably going to get banned. That may change in the future. So that's the things you need to consider. Is it going to now be allowed on my traffic source? In this case, no. So let's move on to the next one. Idle sleep, we get 80% of the sale. That one would likely work. Barks stop dog bark device. Okay, so this is worldwide. It is a uh, collar likely for a dog. You can actually just click on here and it'll show you what the offer looks like. If you click on the offer, perhaps this would be one that we want to test. So Bark X Stop is an ultrasonic dog bark control device that will help control dogs and their barking. This is perfect because I have two dogs and one of them barks all the time, constantly bugging my neighbors. Maybe this is something that I would actually like to promote because I'm actually the target market and I know exactly what I would like to see in an advertisement. So look, it says social media. 
yes. Search, yes. Native, yes. Display, yes. Now I can't run email, I can't run contextual, incentive, mobile ads, brand bidding, okay? Fine, that's good. Now if you are running global, you have a much better chance of having success as an affiliate marketer. Meaning, I'm not saying run a global campaign on Facebook. What I mean is if you have the ability to translate your landing pages, translate your ads and target different countries, and if this offer would accept different countries, you have a much better chance of success because most affiliates won't go that extra route. They're just gonna target the English tier one countries like Canada, US, UK, and they're gonna try and run this and you're gonna be competing with a bunch of affiliates. This one here says worldwide traffic allowed from all countries. So at this point in time, let's just say I'm interested in this offer. It has a high EPC. It is actually the second highest EPC offer in the e-commerce section. It is allowed on Facebook. Um, now at this point, I wanna contact my affiliate manager and say, hey, listen, I would really like to promote this offer. Can you give me some angles that are working? Do you have a Facebook audience you can give me? Um, likely, they will probably not give it to you, but sometimes they will. They'll give you a list of emails or they'll give you a customer list and you can actually upload that to Facebook, create your audience, boom, you're ready to go. Also, I would be asking him if I could get a potential payout increase because these are street payouts. Um, I'm also going to be looking at the daily cap, wondering if I can, how many offer, how many conversions can I run in a day before we can jack that cap up, okay? All of this stuff matters. This here says all desktop operating systems are allowed. I would probably ask also if I could run mobile ads on social just to confirm that. Um, it says mobile optimized, no. So you're probably stuck on desktop since the offer is not mobile optimized. So you wanna check that as well with your own devices if you have one make sure if you're running social media or if you're or sorry if you're running mobile ads always make sure you check your landing page as well as the offer landing page to make sure they are mobile optimized and then you can just look at the server tracking and all that stuff we're going to talk about that here shortly okay so those are the things i consider before i even start running an ad i'm going to sit here and i, I what i would do is i would probably start listing like i said 20, 20 offers out of the network that I want to run. And if you're on multiple networks, which I highly recommend you actually use multiple networks, the next thing we want to do is we want to start building out our angle and our landing page. Now I've done a video on angles, check it out, I'll pop it up here. What we're doing here is we're trying to figure out what angle we're going to use. So basically for this one, uh, I could be like, are your neighbors pissed off at you because your dog keeps barking every day? That could be an angle. So you're protecting your, your, your image around your neighborhood because you don't want your neighbors to be mad at you okay that could be one thing um, or maybe you're trying to train your dog is your dog a, a new dog you want to train your dog here's the best thing for training okay so there's another angle so many different ways you can pitch this to people so you want to find all those pain points and now that's where you bring those pain points into your marketing campaign at the same time you want to choose who your customer avatar is and again i've done a video about customer avatars recently it'll pop up as well and you can check that out so you want to know your your customer avatar you want to know their pain points and now we start building out our landing page to do that i simply create a domain in my case when i'm testing multiple different offers in multiple different categories sometimes i'll create a general domain so i'll buy a general domain name you can get one at bluehost.com or namecheap i use those both both those companies um, i'll buy a general overarching domain so in this one for example i'll set up wordpress and then i'll set up optimized press 3.0 which is the links are down below by the way in the description so you can go down and check out the links okay so what i'll do is i'll come in here i'll install the optimized press and then i'll just create new page really easy to use simple and easy you choose the landing page you want there's probably a template here related to what i want to pitch i'll just go in i'll edit it i'm not going to do that in this video because it takes too long but basically it's a drag and drop feature creating my landing page almost immediately it has sample headlines that i can instantly change to whatever topic i'm promoting then what I will be doing is setting up my tracking. So I use a, a third-party tracker. You can use BMOB for free. Again, the link is down in the description for free access to BMOB. I've done full trainings on this for free. Go to powerhouseaffiliate.com slash action dash plan. All of that is explained in detail in video, so I'm not gonna go through it again here. Okay, so let's do a quick recap so that you understand the exact steps you need to take in order to start testing immediately. First of all, you're going to need a traffic source that allows you to spend 
thousands of dollars a day, okay? If you wanna make tons of money, you need a traffic source that allows you to spend a lot of money and that has a large group of people that you can target. Next, you're going to need to choose your offer. There's lots of research that you can do around offers. Some of your best places to look are with your affiliate managers. Check out what's trending in the world right now. Go to Google Trends. Use spy tools like Adplexity. You can find a link again down below. Um, you can see what other affiliates are running. And what you're gonna do is you're going to write down a list of 10 to 20 offers that you feel you wanna test in whatever vertical you choose, okay? Next, you need to build out your landing page. If you don't have any experience, again, check out that link down below that goes through the action plan as to how to build out your landing page and make sure that all of your stuff on your landing page is compliant with whatever traffic source you are running, okay? Next, you're going to set up your traffic and that means you need to have your tracking set up so that you can use your tracking links on whatever traffic platform you're using. Now, in this case, on Facebook, you're going to have to use direct tracking, meaning you cannot put your tracking link inside Facebook because you will lose your account. So you really need to understand the rules in your traffic source before you just start going and popping in third-party tracking links into their platforms. They look at this as circumventing their systems whenever you use tracking links that are redirects. So make sure when you set up ads, especially on Facebook and Google, that you're using parallel tracking, also known as direct tracking, and all of these traffic platforms like BMOB, CPV Lab, Volume, all of them have a direct tracking feature. Make sure you use that on the major ad platforms that you're going to be buying traffic from. If you have any more questions related to getting set up with your CPA affiliate marketing campaigns, please post them below. Come to powerhouseaffiliate.com for free training. If you would like more videos like this or any other topics covered, please post your comments below. Subscribe to my channel and we'll see you next week.